Well, I started swimming when I was six years old. My parents put me into swim lessons and they felt the best way to uh, teach me how to swim was to put me into swim club as opposed to Red Cross or anything like that. And uh, as I was thrown into the water, I developed a bit of a natural affinity for swimming and um, I was very fortunate to be fast at a very young age. I enjoyed being in the water very much, especially uh, racing one-on-one -on -one with people and uh, challenging myself in the water every day. And uh, that's kind of how I started and why I continue swimming now. I made the Canadian national team the first time in 1999 Pan American Games um, as a 16-year-old. I also made the Sydney Olympics next year and qualified as a 17-year-old. And um, it was pretty uh, amazing experience to be that young on the team, um, to have uh, role models that I looked up to. Um, Curtis Myden, who won bronze medals in 96 Olympics was my, one of my idols um, as a swimmer growing up and to be on the team with him was pretty special for me and uh, I was able to learn from him directly in the water and uh, not only that but also challenge myself against him in practice and, and stuff like that and to be able to have that experience has really I think allowed me to become a leader on the team now that I've been on the team for over a decade and to share that experience from when I was young to the young swimmers onto this team, I think really um, ties everything together nicely where we have a really big legacy in, how, in the swimmers from then and now. And I like to think that I've been a big part of that. Well, my career hasn't always been a straight line to the top. I was very fortunate to have a lot of success at a young age. Um, all the way up until I broke the world record in 2003. Um, it was a pretty much a straight line to that uh, stage in my career, but right after that I tore my rotator cuff, I was overtrained, and I had a very unsuccessful 2004 in the Olympics in Athens. And it was a very trying time for me, but um, it made me reevaluate what I wanted to do in swimming and how to approach swimming, where before I was just working hard, working hard, working hard, and it didn't really matter how my body felt. And um, in, after suffering that injury, it made me reevaluate everything and made me a smarter swimmer and uh, made me evaluate how not only did I have to try hard, but I had to train smart as well. And so to be able to uh, use the failure or at least the, um, the valley of the lack of success I had in Athens um, to use that as a learning experience towards what I, where I am now. From that experience, I was able to get back and go best times again, made the finals at the World Championships, got my first World Championship medal in 2007, and carried that into making the Olympic final in 2008. And um, I don't think I would have been able to make it that far if I didn't have the learning experience that I had in 2004. After 2008, I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to keep swimming or not. I, uh, my original plan was to take a year off, um, go back to school, finish my degree, and kind of take it from there. And my big plan actually was to go into some triathlons and uh, use that as sort of a, a venue to stay in shape and uh, challenge myself. And I swam the Spring Nationals in 2009, kind of a little bit on a whim, but like I was in shape because I was training for the triathlon, so I thought I'd see how I would do. And I ended up making the University Games team uh, for Serbia in 2009. And I figured, well, I made the team, I might as well go for it and see how well I can do. And a funny thing happened when I was training for it was that I realized that not only was I swimming fast, but I was healthy and uh, I was enjoying it. And so from that, I decided that it was gonna be my goal to make it to London. and. Uh, I've had a pretty storied career so far where I've had world championship medals, world records, and medals at Commonwealth Games, University Games. Only thing missing on my resume is an Olympic medal. And so my big drive to London is to get to the podium. And I figured that with the fourth time coming up around, uh, I pretty much have nothing to lose. I have a pretty good career so far. I am like sell out on it and uh, see what I can do in London. Well, it's pretty easy to stay motivated, even though like getting up in the morning can be hard sometimes, but when you realize the ultimate goal at hand, it's pretty easy to get yourself up in the morning and realize that, you know what, today I get to go to my job and my job is swimming in a pool. And uh, to be able to do that and 
uh, where it takes me to places like Singapore, like India, like London, and have the opportunity to represent my country. It's pretty amazing to be able to go through every day and um, have that being my biggest worry where all I'm trying to do is see how well I can do in this avenue and uh, it's been pretty amazing so far.